Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is my journey into data science where we talk to distinguished people working in the field, talk to them about their transition, their hiring process as well as their advice to future data science aspirants. And today we have with us a very young speaker, Sai Kirti Shri, who works as a data engineer at Ericsson, giving us a fresh perspective on data science. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Coming to the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? Hi all, uh, this is Kirti. Uh, I'm working as a data engineer in Ericsson. So I've completed my bachelor's from SNEST, uh, Srini uh, Institute of Science and Technology, Hyderabad. And uh, for my job, I just moved to Bangalore and it's been more than a year. Um, so I, in the work that I do in Ericsson, so we as data engineers, we work closely with data scientists and we try to industrialize the um, ML models uh, that is productionized uh, at a larger scale. And then we also try to automate the APIs that are built um, from the Ericsson data. So my whole focus usually will be on Python, Docker and you know, other data engineering tools required for each API. Moving on, let's talk about your journey into data science. Uh, the course that have led me here is, I can say firstly, I would suggest everyone to, uh, you know, take up the course in Coursera that is AI for Everyone by Andrew Ng because um, that's a very basic stuff which explains about, you know, what is uh, AI, data science, machine learning. It explains everything uh, according to the, you know, in market, how we need it and how the business needs to uh, apply it, even for a team handling strategies, what all we need to do it. So um, that's a very good course for starting. And uh, moving on to my, um, you know, way of approach that I did is, firstly, I started with Python. Um, with my you know code because I've been doing that from BTEC for all the other pro other projects that I was you know building with Raspberry Pi like that and then I uh, you know started with Python and then slowly I started learning uh, the regression models and now currently I'm uh, enrolled in an MTech program uh, because after my bachelor's I wanted to pursue higher studies but because of this COVID right so it's all it's all messed up so that's why I've uh, enrolled into an MTech program which is um, a DS and ML by Best University Bangalore in collaboration with Great Learning. So I wanted to take this because uh, it's like we always need a structured learning. So when we start learning right so we go by saying okay first maybe we need to you know learn R and then it takes you know bit of statistics and then we go on models. Um, that's fine but what I uh, you know, think is we, we should always have a you know uh, a structured learning because if you see in the market or in the you know uh, Google or anywhere you have n number of courses with the n number of models that keep coming up and you know the way to write right. So how do we choose which one we want? So it really takes uh, you know some time to understand what do you want to become first. So whether you want to become a data scientist or an ML engineer. So I personally think of becoming an ML engineer because it involves both data science as well as the uh, you know data engineering skills which I currently have. Because uh, what I believe is uh, data science is, is a must for every data analyst or a, you know any data scientist. But being an ML engineer is what I think is we need to understand everything. Come Last question, your advice to data science aspirants. So if you're thinking of being a data scientist, I don't say that you should know only about the models. I What I suggest is, you know, you should get an idea of, uh, you know, the core of the programming. It's not just, okay, uh, I know Python, I know R, and I just built a model. It, it's not just that. There's much beyond when we want to uh, apply in the practical situations in the business, right? It's not that we just take a data set and build a model and it's done. So when we try to industrialize it or you know put it in the actual practical applications for any business, uh, we need so much more behind it. Uh, so I would suggest that we would uh, we should you know understand what we want to become and choose the apt course. But uh, yeah, so first uh, firstly I would suggest is uh, you know understand what you want to become, just get the gist of the role and then start you know a structured learning of what all you want to do and then move forward 
uh, I mean, that's how I usually follow. Uh, and that's it from my side. Thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.